On March 14, 2016, the University of Denver men's basketball team named its 32nd head coach in program history with the hiring of former pioneer great Rodney Phillips. Phillips, who played for the DU from 2002 to 2005, promised to deliver an exciting brand of basketball that would pave the way for future success for the program and made good on that promise in his first year at the helm. In his coaching debut, DU Hoops displayed the offensive firepower and play that had not been seen around Magnus Arena for a very long time. Rosga searching, trying to find some area. Murphy with the baseline slam. Neff, spin, oh, what a move in the lay-in. Sophomore Joe Rosga offered signs of things to come by knocking down nine threes in the contest against Jacksonville, the second most in program history. Yeah, Jacksonville comes out of the timeout and goes to his zone. Nice shot again, Rosga. Emerson back to Rosga. Rosga's going to toss it up. Got it! Got it! 84-79. The Pioneers are on a tear right now. Denver got its first win under Coach Billups on November 17th at San Jose State, a 74-69 victory, highlighted by a career-best 12 points from senior Duke Douglas. The Pioneers picked up a big road victory at Weber State on December 3rd after a game-winning shot late from Rosga. The victory is part of a tough seven-game trip to you had in the opening portion of the year. Denver began a six-game winning streak with a dominant performance from big man Daniel Amigo on December 10th. The junior from El Paso scored a career-best 33 points, the most scored by a Pioneer since 2011. Amigo also added 10 boards, giving him his fourth double-double of the season and a win over the Falcons. The Crimson and Gold got some more late-game heroics from Rosga on December 17th and a win over Northern Colorado at Magnus. The super sophomore drilled the three, his only made field goal of the day, with one second left in regulation to lift DU past UNC and push the winning streak to three straight. Five, four, three. And he hits it! Are you kidding me? He hasn't hit it all day! One second left on the clock. The streak reached six after Denver knocked off Oral Roberts at home on December 28th in its Summit League opener. Jake Pemberton was the hero of the day, nearly recording a triple-double for the Pioneers in the win. Pemberton from the top of the key for the Pioneers and nothing but the bottom of the net. Quickly outlet up to Rosga. Joe floats it to Pemberton, back to Rosga. Oh, what a fly layup, good! Rosga on top with Young defending him. Mackey, great backdoor look, and Pemberton lays it in. That's how you draw it up. The Pioneers showcased their new style on the road in a hostile environment on January 7th at Fort Wayne. DU came up just short against the preseason Summer League favorite Mastodons in a high-scoring thriller. Rosga put up a game-high 27 points, and Pemberton dished out a career-best 13 assists in the contest, the most by a Denver player in over a decade. The Crimson and Gold kept up their strong play with a convincing 24-point victory against North Dakota State on January 14th in Magnus. The loss was the first in the league for the Bison. Amigo once again showcased his ability to take over a game to win, finishing with a seventh double-double of the year with 28 points and 12 rebounds. Rosga penetrates, going to go inside to Amigo all by himself, there for the turnaround layup. Right back into Amigo. Daniel bounces down, up, under, move, pretty finish at the hoop. To Rosga, floating the high roll, inside to Amigo, dunks on Dylan Miller to cap up a career day for Amigo. North Dakota State has suffered their first loss of the season within the Summit League and Denver with maybe their most impressive victory all year. Denver also made program history by winning for the first time in Indianapolis on January 21st at IUPUI, a 4.78-74 victory for the Pioneers. A career night from Pemberton powered the Pioneers past South Dakota State on January 25th in Magnus. The former Mountain Vista standout poured in a career-high 25 while leading DU to the win in a high-scoring affair. Oh, what a backdoor cut. Are you kidding me? Now Mackey sets the screen. Pemberton going to pop a three. Got it! Jake Pemberton hot from downtown. Some more late-game heroics came into play for the Crimson and Gold on February 4th when a buzzer beater three in overtime from C.J. Bobbitt took down Fort Wayne in Magnus Arena. Both Thomas Neff and Amigo also played huge roles in the game, with the duo each scoring over 20 in the contest. Rosga with Denver, attacking. Rosga goes up left hand, good! Oh, what a take from Rosga! Now it's on the floor and another offensive rebound. No, here comes Pemberton the other way. Jake, got one man to beat, layup up, good! Denver's got the lead at 66-65. Ball's on the floor, Neff's got it. Up to Amigo, out to Bobbitt for the win. Arena. 
Denver team thrived in 2016-17. The Pioneers ushered in the new Billups era in style, playing an up-tempo brand of basketball that captured the minds and hearts of Pioneer Nation. Crossover, Joe goes to the bucket, spin up under, good and one! Joe Roska taking over with a big move. Five seconds left, gotta go. Murky off the window and good, and there's that athleticism. A chance for double digits. Pemberton's gonna drive, he's gonna dish off. Oh, Duke Douglas into the lane and applies the hammer. DU set the tone for what's to come with several statistics taking a significant rise under the guidance of Billups and his staff. The eight wins in Summit League play tied for the most since the team joined the league back in 2013. Coach Billups wanted to play fast and got it from his squad as the 75.8 points per game average was the most by the program since jumping up to Division I back in 1998. DU's 40.2 three-point percentage ranked 14th in all of the NCAA. Denver tightened up its defense on the perimeter, finishing first in the Summit League in three-point field goal defense. The Crimson and Gold were also a force on the glass this past season, ranking second in the Summit League in rebounding margin with a plus 4.2 margin, up significantly from years past. Amigo and Rosga were recognized for their great seasons, with Amigo earning second team all Summit League honors and Rosga getting honorable mention for a second straight year. The Pioneers finished the year with 16 wins, matching last season's total, but did it while showing us a glimpse of what is to come in the future, with nearly everyone returning for the 2017-18 campaign. Let's go, one, two, three, work! work.